Today we're going to show you how to uh, make your Patrick oysters. Start by showing you how to shuck oyster. So you just get it, get your blunt object knife, stick it in the side, cut the top, pop it over like that. There's a little line in there, cut through there. That's good to go. As you can see, we've already prepared some here. Next, you got to put your secret herbs and spices in. We've got our own mix here. I can't tell you what they are because, uh, well, this is our mix. But, you always try them. So you just put a bit in them all. Just like this. Step is dice bacon. I've already gone prepared and pre uh, pre diced this one up. You just fill them up as much as you like. We like ours pretty meaty, we're all big boys, you know. That beautiful. Just finish that off, top them up. Alright guys, the next step we'll uh, go outside to the uh, old trusty Weber Q. It's already preheated. We've got that preheated to about 200 I think. Alright guys, this is the secret weapon. This is the most important part, the Weber Q. Puts a beautiful barbecue flavour through them and just brings out the flavour in these oysters. So I'll open her up. Drop her in the centre. Close the lid, probably for five minutes. Then we'll open it up and we'll show you the next step. <laughs> Righto guys, so we've been here for about five minutes. We'll just uh, give them a quick look. Oh, they're looking good. So, for the third step, this is the final step. Good old Hill View Tasty Shredded Cheese. Good gear this. Gives it a nice crisp taste. Strong flavour. You just put as much on it as you want. That there, that there is about perfect, guys. Shut the lid. Probably have about half a can of your good beer. Wave that cheese at your belt and uh, that'll be mwah, bellissimo. All right, guys. That tastes up, have a look. They're looking pretty good. We'll get them bad boys out and final step. Yeah, I Good. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next week for the next show.